This video is about finding and exploiting mass assignment vulnerability. So first, what is mass assignment anyway? This vulnerability arises when the user input is not sanitized properly and allows attackers to update or overwrite server-side variables. For example, a banking API might allow users to update the email address associated with their account. But a mass assignment vulnerability might let the user send a request that updates their account balance as well. Okay, time to test this out. In CR API, in the shop section, we can see some of products that are being loaded over here. Don't focus on some extra products that I made before recording this video just to test this endpoint. Well, let's focus on what we need to do right now. So I'm going to click on inspect element and go to network tabs and reload those requests. And we can see here is a product endpoint. So if you remember, we already added this endpoint in Postman in the first video. So I'm going to head back to Postman and here is the product request. Send this request and we can see it basically loads the product ID, name, price and image URL. As we can see, this API request is using get method to get this products, right? But what if we change this method to post? Send this request and it says this field is required on price, image, and name. Well, that's weird because it's not saying that it's an error or method not allowed. It means this post method is actually allowed and we can create our own products by just filling this um, JSON data because if we change this method to any other HTTP method we can see that it gives us an error with 405 status code method not allowed change it to delete and it says the same but that's not the case with post so let's try experimenting this out well I tested this endpoint manually but you can also use some kind of word list to fuzz for HTTP methods. The point is to find something anomaly, something with different status code and different size. For example here you can see I fuzz this endpoint with fuff and the result I'm getting is 405 status code normally for every method that is not allowed but I can also see some methods like get head and post which gives status code 401 which is anomaly right so yeah that's the second way through which you can find http methods that are valid in a particular endpoint now i'm gonna head back to postman and since this api is giving us 400 bad requests because we didn't provide a name price or image url in the body of the request we need to do that now So basically I'm going to copy this JSON data and paste it here in the body and replace the name, price and image URL with anything that I want. I'm gonna give it name get credits and in the price section I'm going to give it a negative number. <laughs> you will know why I did that soon. And in the image URL we can literally provide any URL that we want. So from Google images I'm going to use this image copy its location and I'm going to paste this in postman image URL now we need to modify the syntax a little bit it's curly braces not square brackets Yeah, everything looks fine and send this request and it says ID6, name, get credits, price and then image URL with 200 OK status code. So we were able to create our own product, right? Now let's send this request with the get HTTP method and here we can see our product has been added. This is really interesting and this is mass assignment. We were able to use variables to overwrite or update our own product in the web page we can see get credits so I'm gonna buy this and since it's a negative number it's actually going to transfer back 1000 credit back in our account how well this is how it happens if I go back to shop and here you can see my balance is increased 
to 1060 dollars which is really interesting so yeah this is how we were able to exploit mass assignment vulnerability by assigning some variables in a sensitive endpoint so thank you for watching this video and hope you enjoyed this video